Welcome back to the networking class. So we were speaking about IP addressing. Let's continue doing that. So we were in the part where considering uh, the host ID and network ID. So let us know how we go ahead and assign the network ID and host ID. To start with, let's try with IP config. So once we put an IP config, you can see here, so it has 192.168.1.2. Okay, so the IP address which is referred here is 192.168.1.2. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So what does this mean? So the local network which is considered now has the last bit the last bit says 0 so whenever you see a last bit 0 so that amount of hosts can be created in our network so let us take an example here right now so so if my IP address is 192.168.1.2 and my subnet mask is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 so wherever you have the subnet mask as 0 that amount of computers can be assigned as that num that amount of computers can be assigned an IP address so even at the point of 0 it should be as 255 so instead of 255 we have put in a 0 so that means to say that 255 hosts can be given an IP address so 200 let me just put it here 255 hosts can be given IP address that's great okay so in that 255 we have to minus 2 so 255 minus 2 would be somewhere 253 so maximum is 253 so I'll just say 253 IP can be defined for 253 computers you may ask me a question why is the 0 and 1 minus so if you the answer is here so I have put in a note here all zeros represent our network address so to so if you see here so we have 0 0 represents the network address which is being connected to our computer so that's why we have put in a zero here so that default picks up so whenever you see a one all one reserved for broadcast address so what is broadcast address so usually broadcast address would be a default gateway the broadcasting so whenever your computer requires to send or try to broadcast the data for the external network it would require a default gateway or a broadcast address so that would be reserved as one okay so that's why we have zero and one minus out of this bit and we have put in that we can only assign 253 computers so let us take an example one more example now so let's say so here when you say to uh, when the last subnet mask mask becomes 0 so you can assign 255 okay so what happens when you put in one more 0 in subnet mask let us consider that so I'll just put in and whenever the subnet mask is considered as 0 so only number 2 will become host ID and all the other 198 192.168.1 becomes the network ID let me make a note here so I'll say in this example one night we'll just copy that more easy yeah 
is network ID and two is host ID. Considering the uh, what is that Net subnet mask? Okay, so we have put in an example here. Okay, so let's take one more example to identify that. So we'll copy this once again. Put it here. And copy this once again and put it here. And we'll change it to zero. Okay, so what would be here? So we would have 255 network, okay, and into 255 of computers why do you have 255 network see here each one which is represented here would be considered as a network which can hold 255 computers so that's why we are multiplying now 255 into 255 okay so here whenever this becomes zero so that amount of networks will be added so the last number is the host the middle the next zero represents the number of networks so in i can hold 255 networks in each network i can have 255 computers that is once again minus by 2 that is 253 computers okay so that's how you consider so that's how is the naming convention here which happens so whenever these two becomes zero and you will have one and two as your host id okay and 192.168 as your network id so that's how the example goes that's great so we have understood how do you identify and how do you assign an ip address to the network that's great too go so we have some more things which we have to consider here so that's why i have put in here you go here we have an example of uh, identifying the no host id so here the subnet mask would be 255.0.0.0 that's great so that's why we have put in only 255 would be the network id and all the other would be 000 host id so here we'll just take an example as 255 into 255 into 255 so we have three zeros we will multiply three 255 is to get a number and we will get those amount of computers where we can connect to a network and we will have a network that's great so good to understand okay so and after this we there is a class of IP addresses which is being ranged and which has been defined as we go so we have class A which we have already discussed that class B class A IP address is reserved for loopback this is reserved for loopback testing so we have already done a loopback test before so we'll put in that so we have once again class B it starts from after 127 it should start from 128 so here it starts from 128 and it ends at 191.255 okay then after 191 so we have 192 then up to 223 so 224 to 239 is class D and class E so we have all different types of numbering the class classification of IP addresses which is defined here okay so we have understood how do you define an IP address and how do you assign an IP address to a computer what is host ID what is network ID what is the classes of ID which is being defined thank you for viewing and we'll just continue with the next class